Hey, hi, hello. Bad, bad time to start the clip right now. How are we doing? Hey, hi. It is Tuesday today. It's 12.31. I'm getting around to get my eyebrows done. Um, I did heatless curls, but I knew going into it that I thought my hair was too wet for it. And my intention was to blow dry the heatless curls, like, while they were still on my head, like, to just add heat, um, and hopefully, A, dry it if it was not dry. I forgot. So the heatless curls did not turn out, and now we are stuck with a bun. These pieces curled. I'm going to get my eyebrows done. My appointment's at 2.15, so I'm leaving a little bit early because I really want to stop by Walmart and see if they have something that I'm looking for. If not, no big deal. I also have to go to Ulta to buy makeup because I just ran out. That is the game plan. I finished one project already. I have one more to do today. It's about 250 pages, I think. Also, I heard back from the company that gave me the bookmarks from hell in the last vlog. I didn't say the company there because I thought they would get back to me like super fast because I'm a VIP member because I have ordered from them so many times. So I didn't say the name of the company, um, but then they took nine days to get back to me. And actually, they didn't even get back to me. I had to search them out. So the company is Overnight Prints. Don't use them. And I have used them, like I said in the last vlog, I've used them for every single thing that I have purchased, like bookmarks and all that stuff wise. Um, so, uh, like I said, I was a VIP member because I had ordered from them so many times. But even as a VIP member, nobody got back to me. Yesterday, I was able to get to a chat. Like, they had their chat thing running again, which it says it's open 24-7. It's not. It's only open on the weekdays. Like, from 11 a.m. to whatever time. And so I talked to somebody yesterday, and they're like, oh, well, we've had an influx of people having issues, so we'll bump your ticket. And I'm like, well, I am VIP, friends. <laughs> You're forgetting that? But I was like, okay, cool. Um, didn't hear anything yesterday. So I went to the chat bot chat box again and I got um this exchange. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. You can pause if you want to read it. It is just this person calling me Mrs. Sutton, which I <laughs> I think like when you're pissed, anything will rile you up. So I was like, it is Miss. It's not Mrs. But uh they were like, well. You chose standard shipping. I'm like, mm, no, I didn't. Because I said, like, I had chosen expedited shipping and I paid a lot and it didn't get, it came in time, but it came defective. And this person was like, you chose standard shipping. And I'm like, no, I didn't. $18 is not standard shipping, friends. I don't know if he was trying to gaslight me with that or what, but it was not standard shipping. And then two, uh, I was like, I need a refund. And he's like, no, he's like, I'll reprint your order. And I was like, can't it just have a refund? And he's like, so here's what we can do. I can reprint your order and who knows when it'll print. Um, or B, I can give you 50% of what you paid as a store credit. And I'm like, it's, you gave me garbage. <laughs> like, why would I settle for 50% of what I paid? 50% of $76 and I have garbage stuff? <laughs> like, no. And so I just end up saying like, no, I need a full refund. And he's like, I can give you a full amount of the in-store credit. So the full $76 of in-store credit. And I said, no, refund it to the card on file. And then he says, okay, I will, I will go through processing that refund. And I'm like, why was that so hard? Like, why can't we just start with that? Because that's what I asked for. He was hoping I would settle. I was not settling. I might have settled. A week ago, when I emailed last Monday, and they were supposed to get back with me between four, 24 and 48 hours, I might have settled then. But we are now eight days in to me waiting for a response. I ain't settling now. So yeah, so that was a time and a half. We got, I, I, I don't have the refund yet. It says it'll take three to five business days to process. So we will keep an eye out. But then after I ended the chat session, then somebody finally responded to my help ticket. Um... As you talked about with our representative in the chat box, your refund is being processed. I'm like, now you get back to me? So yeah, the company's Overnight Prints. I've used them since 2020. Um, I don't recommend them anymore. Especially since I'm, I'm a VIP member. You know, I've, I've, I've bought so much before. Like, not that I need priority. Like, I'm not, like, saying, oh, put me to the front of the line. But, like, if you're going to say, we'll re reach back to you between 24 and 40 hours... You have to. Like, every single time I talked to that, the ch chat box thing, they were like, submit a ticket and you'll have a response from somebody in 24 to 48 hours. And I'm like, I didn't though. It has been eight days. Like, 
so yeah ah that's the update hopefully we get the refund i will let you know if i do um but I, the reason why i didn't say the company name last time like i said is because i really thought they would do their best at rectifying the issue and they didn't i'm not lying you guys saw the bookmarks they were horrible my fridge also sounds so upset do you hear that that is the fridge you good, bro? Anyway, I'm gonna head out and I will see you guys when I get back. I'll let you know when I get back. But hopefully we'll have prettier brows. I'll probably have uglier brows because she's gonna take the makeup off around there. But you know what I mean. Hopefully they're prettier. Even though they're gonna be uglier at the beginning. Okay, so I did the curls again. Um, Much better this time. Much better. I will say, I'm not, I don't know how to do the top part of my hair. Um, Because as you can see, we got a little bit of like a weird situation going on in here i've also had headphones on so it could have been it like just only for not like for 10 minutes maybe i think these are still a win still a win it's cute when you need to put it back like that anyway client work this morning um it's 9 30. it was raining so we lost all the curls um i opened this order i genuinely forgot i ordered so many eye masks i opened this and i'm like what is this? It's eye masks. Um, they're cute though. And then these cute green bows. You can't really see. Ooh! I'm doing a book box. I didn't get this on camera, but she was standing like right here and I told her to sit. She backed up until her butt could be on the carpet. <laughs> you little dweeb, is this cold? Also, she's got a new toy, and I absolutely adore it, but I hate, I hate what I named it. I named it, it impulsively, and then I'm like, why did I name it that? I give uh, names to mommy's toys so she knows which one to go grab. We already have Lamb Chop, right? Go get Lamb Chop. Go get, go get Lamb Chop. Uh. Yeah. So we already have Lamb Chop, so I couldn't use Lamb Chop again, but mommy, where's Rudy? I hate that I named it Rudy. Bring it here! Wait, so she has to stick you in her whole body though. Yeah! I hate that I named it Rudy. I hate it so much. I hate that name. No offense if your name is Rudy. I just... It reminds me of Wizards of Waverly Place. Like, the Chancellor Rudy Tootie... Tootie? Rudy Tootie Tootie? I don't remember what it, the Chancellor's name was, but it was Chancellor Rudy Tootie something. Um, that's why I just don't like it. But it's too late! It is already Rudy, isn't it? I you saw before how I got the stuff for my book box, and I really am just super curious how much it's gonna weigh, because how much it weighs affects how much I have to charge for shipping. I don't have the box, and that's gonna add. I'll add that weight on. So what I'm gonna do is weigh everything else. Weigh well, everything. Do I have an empty drawer? That one is not empty. Also not empty. So many eye masks. I bought more stock than I probably should have, given I haven't even announced that I'm doing a book box. And I've already had quite a few people order the regular signed copy. Sunglasses. Get in loose for the joy ride. More bookmarks, random flower petals, and one bookmark out of this. Pretty. No, the bags might make up for some of this. What is this? Uh, this is about one pound, five ounces. Adding in bookmarks and stuff, probably one pound, the character art and stuff. Let's and add and adding the scrunchie. Let's do one pound, eight ounces. Plus the box, whatever that is. I'll have to look it up, but. Maybe two pounds? Let's do two pounds. And I mean, obviously you have to have it correct when you're shipping, but for right now, I'm trying to just figure out the cost of shipping. So let's just say two pounds. Also, I don't know how much I paid for this Rectish t-shirt. I don't think a ton. Um, the quality is terrible like of the image, but the fabric is the softest fabric I think I've ever felt on a t-shirt. But look at how adorable. I'm obsessed. Like the, the P over here is like wonky. Like, this, the printing could be better. I ordered it I, um, pretty oversized because I thought it would be a nice little sleep t-shirt hang around tee, but it is so comfy. 
I'm obsessed. I'm also so bummed. I got this magazine in the mail. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Love them to pieces for one. But for two, I also got this one in the mail. And obviously pink, gray, my absolute jam. But I'm so bummed because you can see. You can see that there's a tear and this is all just like crumpled. And, and it has to be right on his face too. You know, like anywhere else, no. But his face. Yes, this one. this one's been through... She's been through some stuff. It had to be you! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's pick out one perfect photo of everybody. Felix's are hard because Felix's are, are all beautiful. Like, look at this. This is angel sunshine, is this not? Look at his freckles. Like, okay sir, pop off. Pop off sir. Gorgeous, gorgeous boy, gorgeous boy. They loved photo shooting, Felix. They love shooting jokes. They really do. Oh, okay. Look at that. Why does his hand look massive? If you know Felix, you know he does not have big hands. Why do his hands look massive? My favorite of Changwins. Changwins, he has filters on all of his. But this one's a good one. This one's a good one. This one is also a good one. Yeah, see, comparatively to Felix's, these all have filters on it. And it was a little bit of a bummer when I saw it, to be honest. Tension. Tension. He's so model coded, is he not? Model coded. Model coded. Yes. This is the this is the one. I think this is the one. Any. There's one for sure that is my favorite though. This one's a good one. Mm, also good ones. Also good ones. That's a good one. Okay. Did I did I miss the one that was my favorite? <laughs> for some reason, I was thinking there was a. A different, different look. Maybe not. Everyone brace yourselves for my screeches. Ah! It's a gorgeous boy. Look at that gorgeous boy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm not the biggest fan of this concept. The slicked down hair. In fact, I've never been a fan of the hair that's slicked down. But this man. This man. Like, I'm sorry. It's giving... Adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is just a, such a boyfriend photo. Look at that man. Look at that man. Wow. Although he's holding a steering wheel, I don't really understand this concept. But... Yeah. Yeah. My arm is definitely getting tired. Oh, another Han. Gorgeous boy. See, that's just the hairs. It's not my jam, but he's still. Adorable with his little face gems. Have I mentioned my arm is getting tired? And he's just so tiny on this page. He just looks so small. But so handsome. So handsome. Good. This one's a good one. This one I think might be my favorite of his. Handsome. It's like he did this photo shoot for my friend specifically. Okay. You're so gorgeous. Like what is up with this? What is this? What are we doing? So boyfriend, so boyfriend. So good. He's so handsome, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Sungmin, Sungmin in the building. Oh, maybe it was Sungmin's that I was remembering that I'm like, oh, cause this photo, this looks, these looks of his, the pants are questionable, but. He looks just so good. This one, this one's adorable. This one's also amazing. Stellar. Kind of gives a little bit of a serial killer dismemberment vibes here, but I will allow it. Um, also normal. So obviously I had to get one of everybody and then one of my bias. I'm very disappointed about this, but what can you do, I suppose? Changbin! Hi, hey, hello. Today it is Friday. It's 9 o'clock at night. Um... I'm going to make dinner. I think I'm just gonna have something easy because it is kind of late. Um, I haven't been vlogging the past few days and I haven't really been working either. Um, I've had kind of a crappy past few days in my personal life so I've just not been wanting to do that stuff. Um, Today I did a client work. Have to get going on this book. So I'm taking today as one final like chill day 
and then tomorrow we are jumping full steam. That's why I haven't been updating. I haven't been going on my walks. I think that is also something that's been throwing me off. It was raining this morning. It rained yesterday. It's just, and it's been hot and it's gonna get hotter these next few days. But then again, it's July, it's summer. It makes sense. Next week, Stray Kids album releases and I'm really excited. I need something to pick me up. I need to pick me up and that's gonna be it. And my book publishes next week. So that's probably a little bit more exciting than Stray Kids, but it is, it is. It's also just nerve-wracking, you know. I am not going to think about any of that today, though. Like, I I feel like I am one DM, one email, one message away from kind of feeling, like, very overwhelmed. Um, so I feel like I just need to turn my brain off of Instagram, book stuff. I need to turn it all off. And we're gonna sit down and we're gonna watch TV and just chill for the rest of the night. I'm starting a new C drama. Um, it's called Derailment. I literally a minute into the drama, so like I have no idea what I'm to what to expect. But I just I don't know. I haven't been like finding anything that's been catching my attention lately in terms of K dramas, and I've only ever watched one Chinese drama, so I'm curious to see if I will like it. I hope I do. I liked the other one that I watched, but this one sounds like it's more like fantasy uh, driven than the other one. The other one was contemporary romance. But I wanted to, I don't know, I just wanted to check in because it's been a few days and I want to kind of showcase when I am at a hard spot because it's real and, you know, even though I don't want to talk about what's going on, I, it feels, I don't ever want to portray that my life's like perfect when it's not. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't want to be a person that does that and, um, yeah, we are far from perfect. <laughs> But, um, we still push through. So here's us, here's to pushing through, even when it's hard. <laughs> Hi, hey, hello. It's Sunday, it's 8.45. Um, I think I'm gonna go to the grocery store because I have everything I need to make my breakfast except for small potatoes. So I think I'm gonna go to the grocery store and go get some. Do I do that before or after I film my TikToks? Probably after. Wouldn't you say? Also, this is the black version of the romper. I wanted a cute little white bralette with it. I just think without the bralette, like, like try to envision without this white, okay? I think it's cute, but it's almost like a lot, and it's so dark that it has like no contrast really. So I think like a cute little white bralette poking through is kind of cute, you know? Is it cute? So I don't know. I mean, it's. It's, it adds more contrast. I just feel like it's a lot of, like, normally I like black, but something about this, it's not, like, I don't know. It's giving in a different way than the blue is giving. The blue, because it's the same thing, just a different color. The blue, uh, for the, um, the last vlog, the blue that I wore to my book signing was super cute. I think it complemented my skin well. I don't know, I feel like it maybe, maybe it's giving more, like, maybe I feel edgier in it. And I don't really feel like an edgy person really anymore. I took the tag off so we can't return it. <clears throat> Probably TikTok says it's gonna rain and if rain hits these waves, they will fall out, so. TikTok it is. She does this at the top of the stairs and it freaks me out every time. This is my setup. It needs clean before we can make TikToks. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's going to rain. Which I, which is kind of weird because I didn't think rain was on the forecast. Okay, the phone goes in this tripod. I think this just looks close. I think maybe it's the definition that is not there with how you can see where the bus part ends and the tummy begins. Because I feel like it just looks like all one. Maybe that's what the problem is with this for me. Hey, hi, I'm Sarah Sutton and I am, oh, nope. This is part three of filling in the United States map. <clears throat> okay. Hey, hi, I'm Sarah Sutton and this is part three of filling out my United States map. Bobby, can, uh, can you give me, oh, don't eat that. Actually, let's do it with this. Let's do it with this, that's cute. Hey, hi, I'm Sarah Sutton and this is part three of filling out my United States map of uh, all the states that I have sold signed copies in. <laughs> that was a little bit of a struggle, but it's fine. I don't know who started this, but I wanted to do it for my books. <laughs> Let's cut that one. I don't know who started this trend, but I wanted to do it for my books. Hey, how I sounded. Now we move this and we take it to our top down shot. This has to go like this. Make sure it's not fuzzy. New Mexico. How fun. Hey, hi, 
Hi, I'm Sarah Satin, and this is part three of filling out my United States passport. Um, I'm setting out to sell all. Nope. Okay, let's try that again. I thought it would be fun. Mm, I stuttered. <laughs> I thought it would be super fun to fill out how many states I sold signed copies in. In addition to the signed special edition, I'm also offering a book box for this book. They're both list. Nope. Now let me know. Is your state still. F nope. <clears throat> and let me know. Is your state. S yes. Hey, hi, I'm Let's listen to it. Part three of filling out my next. Hey, hi, I'm Sarah Satin in this book. They're both listed for sale on my website. Love another champagne problems. Problem is, I realize now, so this is part four. I, I replied to this, to a comment, in part, and New Mexico gets filled in in part three. Okay, done so. Everything's filled out, uh, scheduled. I'm starting, so now we need to go to the store and get those potatoes. Good thing this store is like five minutes from me because I had pancakes yesterday. I don't want to do pancakes again. I want my eggs and I want my spinach. We have 36 orders so far. Um, I uh, am placing the order tomorrow once my Fiverr uh, money hits my bank account. So uh, those books are probably going to be coming in next week, probably by next Monday, I would say. Because last time when I ordered, they came super fast. So fingers crossed. I'm not too worried because normally the signed copies usually do ship after release day. I don't know why I'm over here. Um, I'm not too worried about it, so. I'm just going to wear gym shoes. It's probably not the fit for it anyway, but I actually don't have any shoes that would go well with this. Except for my Converse and... I don't feel like putting those on. You know, I hope, because there was one day, I don't know what was happening. I don't know what was happening. There was one day I was getting comments from K-pop girlies or people, I don't know if you're girlies or not, K-pop friends, left and right, left and right. I don't know where y'all came from. I don't know how y'all found me, um, but I hope you're still here. <laughs> the reason why I was saying that was because in the background is my K-pop wall and like, I feel like we need a moment. I feel like it needs a moment on the off chance the K-pop friends still haven't seen it. Um, what do we think? I'm a little sad because I got these for Rockstar. Rockstar era ends this week and it's going to be the 8 era. And it's like, do I take these down and put the new ones up? What do we do? Or do we, you know, do the same thing somewhere else? But the CDs look beautiful. Not all of the eight CDs will fit up here. I think there's like tons. Like there's gonna be at least eight of these. Not all of the, and when I say eight, the album is called A-T-E, so that's why. So not all of the eight CDs will fit up here. So I don't know if I put some up and then, cause we have to do something else. Let's put them on a new wall. Maybe we'll go back to this one. Most of them are Lino's over here, but look at all of them. Look at them all! Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I'm obsessed. This is messy. Eh. And then we have over here, friends, we have a little, little corner over here of cuteness. We put the little poster thingies up. Look how cute. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. He's adorable. This light is terrible, but he's adorable. Yes. I'm a fangirl at heart through and through. Never moving on. It'd be sad. Then did I show you these? I think I did because I showed you the the cut the the injury Lino has. I'm gonna go to the store. I will be back. I'm gonna get potatoes. Love that for me. The goods have been gotten. Of course we got something other than potatoes. I've been wanting decaf coffee because there are times where I want an iced coffee for um like lunch time but i'm so used to having my hot cup of coffee when i wake up from my nap that i it, it kind of ruins my day if i can't have my hot cup of coffee so i end up drinking three coffees and we can't have that we stocked my salmon so i got two potatoes i've written i wrote a thousand words probably yesterday actually i think almost exactly a thousand words yesterday um, today, I'm not sure where we're at so far, but not, not a thousand. Second I started writing, Bomi woke up from her nap, so didn't really get to get a whole lot done. Stray Kids are performing in London today. They performed in Milan Friday, and I'm still recovering. 
from the video clips that we have gotten from that. So that is crazy. If I can, maybe I'll include a clip, like a few clips that are like insane. I don't know, I've never tried to do that before. Credit to people who recorded it. If I think people who are so amazing on Twitter, they're getting angles, getting beautiful photos. This is far too many potatoes. I saw a clip of like one of the concert workers like jamming out to one of the Strike Kids songs. And honestly, I feel like when I say I'm into K-pop, I feel like there's a, there's a... I feel like Stray Kids is not necessarily K-pop. They're not pop music. So I feel like if anyone were to like listen to Stray Kids, expecting like the poppy sort of K-pop stuff, they'd kind of be surprised. Stray Kids has a lot of rap. And to be honest, when I first heard, the first song that I heard by them was Easy. Um, and I remember... I remember listening to it and being like, I kind of like this, but I also kind of hate it. Because when I first heard it, I hated rap music. I liked it, but I hated that I liked it because I'm like, I don't want to like rap. Like I was, I'm, I was very much so a rap hater. And it's so funny to me now because Easy is like my favorite song. <laughs> but back then when I first heard it, I had been used to the poppy K-pop sound only. I really listened to BTS, TXT, T by T. I still don't know. No one's told me. I know it's Tomorrow by Together, but is it TXT or is it T by T? Someone tell me. There was another one in Hypen. Uh, did I listen to them a lot back then? I'm not sure. But I listened to the poppy stuff. Um, kind of only back then, back in like 2020, 2021. Um, so when I first heard that song, I liked the the beat in the background, but I'm like, ugh, the rap, I'm not sure. Like Changbin's rap, I'm like, I don't know. And it's just funny now because how do we live without Changbin's rap? How do we live without Han's rap and Kenjin's rap and everybody's rap? How do I live without it? I don't know. Have I ever talked about what got me into Stray Kids? I'm not sure I have. So I can remember two things for sure. Two events in history for sure. Okay. So I'm pretty sure this one came first. This, this, um, this clip came first. It was Felix for a Maniac fan cam. It came up on my TikTok. Um, I don't, I don't even know why, because I feel like I, at that point, I hadn't been getting many TikToks, K-pop TikToks on my author, you know, account. But it was this Felix Maniac fan cam, and I, like, I remember thinking he was so fine, like the blonde hair and like the all black outfit was so good on him. And then I was looking at the comments and people being like, that he looks, um so dark and edgy, but he's actually like a ball of sunshine. I'm like, oh, that's cute. And then people were saying like he had to walk off stage because that was also something that caught my attention because he had to walk off stage and then he had to leave because he couldn't dance to his fullest because he had a back injury. And so that, I just, I remember being like, this, this man's fine, but I'm pretty sure it stayed at that. But then again, I almost wonder, I almost wonder if this other instance was first. I just can't remember which one came first, but you know what? No, the other instance did come first. Okay, so I now I remember, I remember the progression, everybody. I remember the progression. So there was a TikTok before. Um, I guess I had been on K-pop TikTok because I completely forgot about this clip. It was it was from Astro, Moonbin, and somebody else. They were doing a dance together, and I remember seeing that before all the Stray Kids stuff that came up. So that had to have been, I had to have been on K-pop TikTok at some at some point somehow some way because then I, I'm pretty sure this ha this next one happened and then I watched the Felix fan cam and then I went to YouTube to look up the song because I watched the entire ca fan cam and I listened to the song I'm like I think I, I think I like this song but the other clip <laughs> the other uh thing that got me into into, into Stray Kids was this clip of Han and Lino so at this point I had no idea who these people were um, I just thought it was so adorable because like you, in the text it says like they both look away awkwardly, they're both shy, Han tries to get Lena's attention by like touching his shoulder. And I'm just thinking like this is the cutest thing I think I've ever seen. Like adorable kind of like vibe and it just felt very like book 
when I was looking at it. Like, it felt very, like, a moment from a book, and I just thought it was adorable. So, that is one thing I specifically remember. I'm like, I remember thinking, I have no idea who these boys are, but they're so cute. And then Felix. I'm pretty sure that Felix fan cam is what opened my door. Which, Felix does that for a lot of people, so I love that about him. I love that. I love him. I love everybody. I love Lino and Han. I love all of them. All of them to pieces, but pretty sure. Because then I think I remember... When I was like, watching Felix's fan cam, I remember thinking, oh, I liked that one Stray Kid song. So I think that's that's how we got sucked in. Now I just love them all to pieces. Here we are, several, several dollars later. It's fine. I have no regrets. I probably will cut all this because no one cares, but <laughs> I mean, I care, but I doubt anybody else does. <laughs>